Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome. And in this video, I have another classic truck to show you around. We are going to take a full tour and test drive of this 1988 Volvo F10. So we'll go all around the exterior first, then I'll hop inside and show you all the interior controls. And then we'll be taking it out on the road for a test drive. You ready for this? Let's go. Starting off with the exterior first then. Now this is a standard Volvo F10 from 1988. You could have got the Globetrotter cab as well. Uh, no such thing as XL or XXL back in those days. Uh, this was how it was. Now some of you will remember the video I shot 32 years ago down in McCarthy Commercials in Watergrass Hill in County Cork. That was of a brand new Volvo F10. Now my father, Rory Lynch, ended up buying a brand new Volvo back then uh, towards the end of 1988 and we registered it in 1989. So yeah, it's great to finally get behind the wheel of one of these trucks again just to see what they're like. Now back in 1988, I didn't even have a license to drive. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, really something now to finally check out one of these. So yeah, we'll take a full walk around it guys, just before we hop inside and go down through the interior controls. So up here you have your clutch fluid and your coolant, you would top it up here. A very clean coolant bottle. Now this truck has undergone a complete engine restoration completely um, reconditioned from 1988 oh yeah <laughs> uh, the good old days <laughs> some people would say and you have the visor as well you could of course got those visors in blue back in the day now let's just open up the passenger side here and i'll show you where the oil goes so you just open up this door top up your oil and you'd have your dipstick there as well so that's how it looked and good old space here now you don't have any door locker here uh, it's at the far side so yeah you just put all your items there for storage winding windows of course and just walking around the side uh, that's a new cover on the truck as well uh, some of these would have said Volvo back in the day but uh, Paddy can't seem to locate the ones that say Volvo, so if any of you do know where to find them, please comment below. And your battery box. This is quite unusual as well. This bottle would be filled with alcohol, um, and it would inject itself into the brakes for really cold climates. You would fill this with alcohol. And uh, <laughs> back in the day, some guys would rob this bottle as well. <laughs> and of course your cab tilt uh, pump there. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, I really like this now. Very, very well looked after truck. So you see there, it's on full springs. You could have, of course, got air ride back in the day. And your air dryer there as well. So let's just uh, show you the old rear taillight design. And let's have a other look underneath there as well. Uh, is this bringing back memories to all of you old, your, uh, the older drivers watching? Yeah, okay, let's hop inside. Okay, so then you would top up your washer bottle here as well. Yeah, so this little pump here is for your lumbar support. So you would pump that uh, just to give you extra support for your back. And then just to let out the air, just press that button there so let's just open up the side locker and give you a look inside it's a decent enough size for 1988 uh, you get a good amount of gear in there and okay let's hop inside that would have been for your tipping gear and yeah the classic Volvo pattern from the 80s on the bed as well now the roof has been completely relined just to uh get it nice and clean. The back wall will be done eventually. So yeah, all of these trucks, I mean, it's years to take these trucks and get them back to their original state. But you know, like anybody that has classic vehicles, it just takes time. And <laughs> Paddy even brought his old phone here from the 90s, uh, the old Mitsubishi phone. Yeah, it's uh, and that would have been your night heater. 
over here. Um, they really did love their coloured switches back in the 80s, didn't they? Volvo, look. Uh, the red and the green and the orange. Uh, very good. And your taco, of course, rev counter, uh, air pressure gauge, uh, your voltage for your battery, temperature and fuel, and your oil there as well. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to start it up. Now, that's not the original gear stick. Um, the top of it broke off, Paddy said, so he just put a different top on it. So, let's just... Uh, it is a 3 over 3. Uh, so, yeah, it's in neutral. Let's start it up. Give you guys a sound of it. Okay, there we go. Couple of revs. Okay. Let's knock off the lights here. Yeah. And your diff lock switch, heated mirror, fog lights, windscreen. Uh, washers and yeah more lights in your hazard switch <laughs> and that would have been where all your fuses are of course yeah very very good yeah I think it's time guys to take it out for a drive oh yeah one thing as well that wide angle mirror is actually quite good for all those years ago uh, I'm not too sure is that a more modern wide angle mirror it could be but yeah it is a, a good mirror and your ventilation controls here okay let's take it for a drive so this horn doesn't work Paddy no. <laughs> all right it's this one all right there we go no, no air horns no air horns all right guys uh, okay I'm gonna start off in second we don't have any seat belts um, yeah so let's go so three over three and we can change all the gears so up into <laughs> third gear. Oh yeah. It seems a lot easier to drive than the the Hino I was driving some weeks ago. You bought this truck in 1994. That's right, correct, isn't it? 94, yeah. Yeah. So six years after this truck was new, you bought it. Yeah. <laughs> Paddy, there's nothing wrong with the brakes. No, no. no. Huh? So, uh, yeah, let's get it back into second here and... Oh, jeez, <laughs> I'm in reverse, am I? <laughs> I thought I was in reverse. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I probably rolled back a bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, back into third. <laughs> it's a nice gearbox, Paddy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's tight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then of course we can split the gears. Uh, yeah, let's get it up into the fifth high, and then uh, click our splitter switch. Yeah, <laughs> are, you, are you selling this truck? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paddy's had it for 26 years. I don't think he's going to sell it now. Huh? Well, maybe if he made me a right offer, maybe. You never oh, know. there you go, guys. There you go. Never know. You never know. Never, never, <laughs> never say never. Okay. That sound is bringing back familiar. That sound. <laughs> is that nice? Yeah. Move in for this guy here behind me. Man, this is nice. Look at that, look. Wow, Paddy, she's driving very well. Man, this is bringing... Paddy, this is bringing back so many memories. 32 years ago, guys, I was in the passenger seat of one of these trucks when they were brand new. And as I said, my father did buy one brand new in 88, registered it in 1989. And here I am 32 years later, driving the truck that my father bought. Uh, the same model that is. 
man, this is a... Uh, it's almost getting emotional, Paddy. <laughs> this is a... Uh, oh, man. I mean, back then, Paddy, as my father would say, because people, people ask me, why didn't you hold on to the trucks? But yeah. we, we never did back then. No. You know, one truck came, another one yeah, went. Yeah, and, and of course, we only just moved into our warehouse in 1988. We were in business since 1980. And you would just sell trucks. You would never hold on to trucks. Yes. Um, and, and besides, we didn't have any place to put them. That's just it. And like, space is money, Paddy. Yeah. You know, if you're if you're storing a vehicle, you're taking up a good ten pallet spaces in a warehouse. So um, you got to take that into account as well. I love it. I love it. But these trucks, going all the, back through through those years, they were sort of ahead of their time, Paddy, weren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like Volvo, when they brought out the F16, that was the top of the range truck in Europe the most powerful truck yeah you would see a little red light when you hit 80 a little red light comes yeah. on yeah that was how they were yeah we'll turn around here at the roundabout and make our way back and that was nice now that was nice there's nothing wrong with the brakes no no huh the brakes are fantastic I, yeah, I heard it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you do have to take the clutch pedal out a fair yeah, amount, yeah. alright. Okay, get her up again. Yeah. <laughs> We're okay. Huh? No grinding of gears, Paddy! <laughs> Not in this video. <laughs> yeah, we've got a, a nice gearbox in this one, guys. This gearbox is actually very tight, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's very, very tight. In fact, it, it would put to shame a lot of newer trucks. This gearbox is nice and tight now. An F16 from 1988, left-hand drive, 470 horsepower, sold recently for 80,000 euro. Oh. Yeah. I mean the buyer's number. I mean, <laughs> that's huge money, isn't it? Huge money for um, an F16 470. So all of these trucks, they are collectible. But that F16 was in mint condition for that money. Absolutely mint. the drive a couple of more revs <laughs> now guys I just want to tell you something from that video that I shot 32 years ago when we were in the f16 I did pan over the camera to the passenger side and you can see me wearing a jacket that was an original Volvo jacket and this is that jacket I still have that jacket from 32 years ago the original Volvo trucks jacket so absolutely delighted to still own this and they did a light blue one and a gray one as well Volvo back all those years ago and you see there behind the driver's seat we have a little storage um, area here just for storing your clothing uh, yeah let's just hop outside because would you believe what we're parked beside is a brand new Volvo FH460 XL 202 Ridge <laughs> so uh, <laughs> quite a difference 1988 2020 <laughs> um, yeah so look technology in trucks has moved on hugely but I'm still quite surprised how well this truck drove now Paddy the drive went very well uh, I didn't grind any gears which is a good thing very good <laughs> no <coughs> yeah yeah I I, I I've been doing that in a couple of videos, but not in this one. I, I just have to make Paddy an offer now. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thanks, Paddy. 
Okay, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video. Take care. <laughs> Cheers! So let's give a quick shout out to Tomas McDonald in Wexford. Wexford? Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. okay, let's go again. It has a speed limit around. It has, specially fitted. Unlike some of the trucks today, they like to fiddle with their speed limiters. Ha <laughs> ha!